Hello, guest designer Katie Reid here. Today I'm going to show you how to create these particular components to create this necklace or any other earrings. So this is the component we're going to learn how to make today and how we can utilise it for different aspects of jewellery making. So if you'd like to see this, then please keep on watching. So for this, we are going to use our 0.8mm copper wire we're going to use a Wags Y cone and our flush cutters and perhaps our chain nose pliers. So to start off with what we're going to do is we're going to take our wire, keep it on the reel and we're going to pop the wire through the little inlet at the top and then bring that round so we have got a little loop on the top there like so. And then I'm literally just going to keep the tension and we are going to wind our way all the way down the cone. Trying to keep the tension equal at all times. And you'll see why I've done this in a second. And we're just going to keep on going until we hit probably... I'd say about halfway. So now we're at halfway and I'm going to leave quite a nice length to help us create our loops. So I'm just going to cut there like so. We'll remove that out of the way and then as you can see here we're kind of a little bit stuck. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut at the top there. That then releases this little bit of wire that then takes, allows you to remove your comb. What we're going to do though is we'll keep the Wags Y comb close because we need to kind of mould the loops on the end. So for our loops, I'm going to be using our six step bell making pliers. And the reason I'm going to do this is because they have got a consistent um, shape, I'm going to be using the, the smaller one so the smallest one here and this is going to create a nice loop for us so what I will do is just cut this off here we'll get rid of that there and then with our 